Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Dragon Ball I Wonder episode 26. One thing I've always wondered is why does Pan never turn into a Super Saiyan? Now obviously in GT, if you count GT, she never becomes a Super Saiyan despite the fact that she would have been a lot more useful as a Super Saiyan. Now personally I think that if uh, Toriyama did make a canon continuation to Dragon Ball uh, Z, that at some point he probably would have Pan turned into a Super Saiyan, it, just because he had everyone else do it. Now for a lot of people, you know, the obvious answer would be that uh, she didn't turn into a Super Saiyan either. They usually either say one of two things, either it's because she's only a quarter Saiyan, uh, or they say that, you know, basically Toyama was sexist. Well, I'm not sure about the, I don't know about the sexist part, but I definitely know that if you count GT, then her being a quarter Saiyan shouldn't matter as much. And here's why. First of all, it's been shown that half Saiyans can turn Super Saiyan 2 and 3. So if you go by that logic, then they should at least be able to turn Super Saiyan 1. And not only that, but if that weren't enough, then there was also the fact that Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. at the end of GT also turned Super Saiyan. And yet they're basically, was it, 1 16th Saiyan? So that would make them less Saiyan than she is. Personally, like, if I were writing Dragon Ball, I would definitely make uh, Pan a Super Saiyan, just because it would be interesting seeing a female Super Saiyan for once. And because we never had a female Saiyan that was as powerful as she was. I mean, obviously, like, I feel she's weaker than you know, Goten and Trunks at that time, but I still think that it would be better if uh, they did make her to a Super Saiyan, and that's one thing that's been bugging me about GT, especially. Anyway, this is a short video, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys later.